Hello everybody, my name is Ray, welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm with Rainbow. Yo. I just got done explaining to Rainbow that uh, what I believe Zero Dawn is, and or a side project to Zero Dawn, is while I was doing the Tall Neck missions, grinding for those, I came across a uh, data log that mentioned a space satellite orbiting with a crew of live members and thousands of embryos. So maybe they were going to repopulate from a space station, wait it out, and then come back to Earth. But that project failed because it mentioned there being no live host left on the satellite. So I think that that was just a side project and that the actual project was, was the vaults that we were stuck in. So now we're going to continue. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. Is that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea oh. how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've yeah. spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral yes. robots destroyed this civilization, huh. but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Yeah. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. Hmm. All right, Silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Selbeck. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Sobek. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, Ooh. are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still <clears throat> standing here? <laughs> Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you've still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the so Corruptors that is, okay. and Deathlingers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? Now, if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh, no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Shit. Proceed. 
Damn. The tantalization of knowledge is quite, quite, quite powerful. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades? It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. I wonder if it's Faro. It has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse if Faro somehow used some of his money to keep himself but if alive. Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago. If she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? Do you really need to make this personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so, so much about Olin, the but better. I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Fair point. You've been using my focus to spy on me. <clears throat> How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other oh. Eclipse's focuses, too. Neat. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... Complicated. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Hmm. Wasting time. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Mm hmm Cheery name. You'll find it in the eastern mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Those giant so things on the Horuses? Person, and your manners had better be impressive. Oh, shit. Oh. That makes oh. sense. Oh my god. Getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here at least. US robot command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. I already have that place unlocked and ready to go. Just like I do a lot of things on this map. So it won't be too hard. The next power cell is also going to be within Grave Horde too, so gee oh yeah, that's right. There's a multitude of floors. Wait. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Uh, Dude. Sup? 
your mind blown. This game is awesome! Indeed. Oh, that thing is terrifying. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'd like a fast travel straight up to it. Weird. Maybe I need to be outside. Um. Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. That was fun. I want to see her in that ancient armor. Yeah, I kind of do too. Hmm. Oh, hey, look who's waiting for you around the corner. Oh, hey. Look who's not gonna be there. We uh not gonna miss you here waiting on my best friend. Oh, well, I can't, so I have to go there. Piss. That's fine. I just have to outrun the Glen Hawks, which is easy enough. Alright, so then we will see y'all there next time, guys. Bye. Bye.